going uh, to the next turning point. So we're talking mid-82. Okay, I'm going to do the circus. I'm going to try to find my old chops. From that point, things just gradually got better. It was a long process. Uh, and I, you know, I, what, what was I? Uh, I was 31. 31 at that point. I had whatever gigs I had. As always, you know, no two years were the same. You know, different gigs would come and go and different band leaders would die and all this kind of stuff. All different kinds of music. The circus every year. Uh, ice shows like Disney on Ice. Then in mid-85, I even uh, started like my own rehearsal band off and on a little bit around Atlantic City. Atlantic City had a lot a lot of gigs, show gigs. I was I didn't get a, a steady gig anywhere down there, but I did a little bit of add-on work, extra work through all this. These were all the kind of miscellaneous stuff that, that I, uh, you know, I stayed pretty busy though and, and did whatever writing I did. And another funny part of it is when my chops are really at their worst, of course, I love to play ball, but I used to drive, you know, many miles to go play softball with the musicians just to kind of hang around the cats that I wasn't getting called uh, to play gigs with anymore, even though I still was playing some gigs. I got laid off from this little day gig in the, in the middle of 85. Like I said, I, I was kind of had my own little rehearsal band, little stuff like that. Uh, I was sitting in with... Uh, there were a couple of good, real, real nice uh, jazz clubs in Philly, like organ bars, a club called Gertz Lounge, which uh, was just, to this day, my favorite place to hang out and blow jazz uh, ever, B3 organ, organ trio, and stuff like that. Anyway, I started getting itchy in mid-86. Uh, I made the move to, to L.A. and did basically the same thing out there. I'm not going to get into what gigs I played or anything like that because that's from a like a different discussion as far as my embouchure goes this is all this was all just kind of continuous it just you know gradually now it took a long time we're talking from 82 through through the 80s I moved to LA in 86 and I, I was there off and on until 91 I was working ships in and out I came back to Philly you know all this my chops were were gradually getting better over about nine years time. So in other words, it took about six years to screw them up. And it took about nine years to fix them. And then that leads me to an, another turning point, which occurred in early 91. It's kind of funny how it all happened. I messed my back up. Around Thanksgiving of 1990 and all this, I had worked ships, had been over in Europe for like six months on the ship and all this. So I'm back in uh, Azusa, California, in in, uh, in Dick Shear's mom's house, where you know where my base was uh, when I wasn't on a ship. Is how that became. My chops gradually had been improving over this is a long stretch now like nine years or something and uh so i'm practicing in in my room in in uh, dick's mom's place and i'm i'm kind of messing around you know just playing but i don't know i guess i was just messing with the angle or something i i, I don't know exactly what it what it was but all of a sudden i said holy shit that's the old slot. I, 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 in other words, it took nine years, but something just sort of fell into place. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny because, you know, it, it was something, uh, you know, feelings that I had not had in, in those nine years. And yet it was familiar and, and recognizable uh, somehow, even after all that time. And it sounded good. Now, all of a sudden, I had a lot more control, and, and my sound opened up again. And, 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 like, it was still a little bit shaky, you know, but, but I could tell I, I was back to normal. This is uh, February of 91, some, somewhere in there. And I was still, I was between ships. And I was still hanging around L.A. Like I said, my back, I had messed that up and, uh, you know, kind of trying to rehab that and all this uh, but now here, here my chops kind of finally clicked in into into 
you know, the, the old the old slot. Another few weeks after that, like I said, as I'm kind of rehabbing my back, I get called to go out on another ship. April Fool's Day, a ship called the Azure Seas, which to this day, that, like that was the worst ship that I ever worked on. It was old and, uh, you know, <laughs> just rough conditions and all that. But what was good about it was like my chops now got got locked in to this old slot. Well, I mean, was it exactly the same as it used to be? Who knows? How, how could you tell something like that? Not to mention the changes your body goes through in that amount of time, wherever you wanted to start the timeline from. Uh, uh, in this case, it, it was a long time. And uh, whether you're talking 10, you know, 10 years or 15 years or something, I mean, that your body is somewhat different. But one thing that was the same that did not change through all of this, all of this embouchure crazy stuff that I went through, is that when I started playing as a kid, I had uh, I had already got my second teeth in. You know, I had other things happen with with teeth, you know, farther back. But since I had uh, started playing as a kid on with my second teeth, going all the way through. From that point, okay, let's see, uh, from uh, 1959 until 1991, we're talking about, you know, that's 30 some years, 32 years, something like that. Nothing physically, structurally had changed in my face that whole time. It, it still took all that time, for, you know, for this thing to settle in. But then, then I stayed on that ship about five months. And like I said, it, it, was, it was a pretty funky ship, but, uh, you know, but it's, you know, playing every night and, and, and all this, uh, and my, and my chops were fine after all that. And, and, uh, as far as trombone goes, I wouldn't say it's the end of the story, but I'm going to do some more discussion about other stuff that happened with my chops and, and, you know, playing trumpet and stuff and how they, uh, they relate to each other. But as far as repairing you know, going off on this weird uh, tangent that I went through, I haven't had any problems since then. And so now that's, uh, to now, that's uh, what? That's over 30 years. So other than aging, ha, huh, it's a whole different animal. 